Swami Maitreya Mahi. We have planned school to us. Some of us are in the school to prepare our education. In the end, we are going to train all the corporate companies to train our education. We are going to train all the corporate companies to train our education. राष्ट्रीय टाइम यूनियन मंत्री मारी अंबाई ने कहा लाम मिस्ट्रीसिंग में भी कुछ बहुत आवश्यक है ना हम तो ये नहीं बोले आवश्यक है कि तेरे को हमारा खाद क्यों है ना तो चाहे तो अभी ना तो इन देवी देवी ने स्वागत जी लिया है ना हम तो इन ये तो टॉपिक है ना तो नियम पार्ट में चला सामने हम लोग management also it's a very important topic before i start really you are all associated with a wonderful hospital and uh, i am also feeling very good to be associated with sarathi uh, i love the hospital it's fantastic i like it the ambiance is very good So you are all fortunate that you are working for a very good hospital. Before we start, there is a very very famous sentence in Ayurveda: "Samadosha samadhiya, samadhatu malakriya." प्रसन्न आत्मेन्द्रिय मन स्वस्थ इत्यादि your professional life your social life all should be very good of course the sentence tri doshas once these are good balanced equipoised then everything is good chitaragni you are because even i have undergone the treatment myself here so it's an excellent uh, package all together so samadhatu you are all the five elements should be properly balanced jataragni your inner fire should be 100% right most important the atma should be in prasannata the inner self is the most important part the mind what we have is coming from the atma you know the atma is like ishwara sadashiva ishwara is sada shiva and the prana what we are getting from it is shiva and the agni what we have internally that is rudra and the mind which is coming from the agni is called mind the mind is vishnu 
and the mind, from the mind, you get ahankara. That is Brahma. That means all the five elements within us are not what you think externally outside. What are these five elements? The ether element is Sadashiva. Okay. Prana, which has come out from that ether element, that is Shiva. And the Agni, the Jyoti, is the Rudra. You call it as Sri Rudra. Maybe many times you hear as Sri Rudra and all that. That is the, the fire, the Jyoti inside. And the mind, the mind which has come out from this Jyoti, is called Vishnu. You are able to understand? So mind, from the mind, you get what is called as Ahankara, that is Brahma. That is why in all the scriptures you find from the Vishnu's navel the Brahma is coming. So unless the mind is there, so the mind is the biggest, it extends to every place. Narayana means in Sanskrit that is called Jala Tattva. So Jala Tattva is mind. It is so, it is, it has a fluent nature. So Vishnu is like Narayana, what we call is the mind or the Jala Tattva. It can go anywhere and everywhere. Why Ishwara is considered to be existing everywhere? That is the prana. Prana is the vayu. Everything is existing everywhere. That is why Vishiva exists everywhere. It has no name and form. If the Shiva is there, there is consciousness. There is energy. Energy is Parvati. The consciousness from consciousness, you get energy. Energy and consciousness are together, it will become Bindu. Okay? All these are concepts which they have built up in Ayurveda, Veda and Upanishad. They are all very much related, very much related. It is basically from one science altogether. So what we are doing, your own process, whatever you do, it is all connected with this. The mind is the biggest culprit and it is the biggest friend also. If you are utilizing it properly, mind is your friend and if you are not using it properly that is the biggest enemy you can make it a slave or you can it will become a master manah geva manushyana karanam bandha mokshayo that means for liber liberation enlightenment mind is also responsible that is why everybody goes to Vishnu worships but they did not understand the reason why it is worship. So Vishnu, that because Vishnu is mind, this mind has to march in the Atma. So mind has to be taken towards the Atma. The Atma is the, who is, who is the Atma here? Sada Siva, Ishwara, that is Siva. Shiva means actually consciousness. Shava means unconsciousness. If the Shiva is there inside you, you will be with Prana. So, how does the person die? The person dies when there is no Prana in him. So, when the Shiva exists, then it is called Shiva. Either that means what are you building up in all this, you know, whatever process you do, all the Kriyas, Shatkarma Kriyas, what we call, or whatever is in Ayurveda, you are increasing the prana. Any disease, Sarva Roga Malavasha, all the diseases, whatever may be the disease, it is all the build up of the toxins inside. If the toxins are inside, the prana cannot move. And 
all the marma, the nadis, 72,000 nadis, which are internally there, the you have to manipulate whatever you are trying to do. You are only manipulating all the nadis, 72,000 nadis. So the 72,000 nadis, these are all spirituality, it is all connected with spirituality. But after thousands of years, most of them got disconnected. We started worshipping all the gods. God is not to worship. It is all to build up. If you build up the prana, you are with divinity, you are with purity, you are with health, you are with happiness, you are with harmony. So, they are not something what is just, you know, by praying. If you are, the Ida and Pingala are within us. The Apana which comes down is going down because the mind is separated from the Atma. So, Atma can go down. So now what you will have to do? You will have to reverse the mind and join with the, the Atma. Or you can call the Apana, which is going down in Bhagavad Gita. It is said you will have to take the Apana up and join it with your Mahaprana. Then actually this Prana and Apana, when they come together, Prashant Atma will happen. You know, in, when we started, we were talking about how we can merge the mind with the Atman. The Atman is, uh, there is nothing called, it is just a space which makes you aware. My who? Where am I? You know, when Maitreya is talking, there are two things that are happening. One is, the mind is being watched by that witnesser. That is the Atman. That's all. Don't think big things and all that. I know I exist. I know I am talking. I know I am addressing you. How do you know it? There is a witnessing part internally inside us. So always we should be conscious of that particular part and take our mind towards it. Always we should be conscious. If you are not conscious, what will happen? Slowly, your breathing, your prana, your behavior will become unconscious. Occipital brain. You all know occipital brain and frontal cortex. When you are conscious, the frontal cortex will start functioning. Then the load on your system your heart, brain, everything, your kidneys, your liver, your pancreas, your spleen, everything will function efficiently and they are not overburdened. So that is all connected. When you are just doing this small process, then you can be both, your materialistic life will be wonderful and your spiritual life will be wonderful. There are no two lives. You have only one life. You have materialistic life. You have spiritual life. You have only one life. After 60, spiritual, no, absolutely wrong. Spiritual life and materialistic life, you have only one life. With the spiritual, spirit means the Atma, the soul. So, Spiritual means not doing, putting some bottu here. No, not keeping here. You will have, you should be reminded that I should take my mind always there. Huh? So this is very, very important. That is why in Bhagavad Gita it is said, Apane Juhvati Pranam. What is Apane? Juhvati means you should merge the Atma. That means you are Prana, Mahaprana. Similarly, you should join the prana to apana. Prana apana gati rudva. That means if you are not doing this, your prana will not be taking right twists and turns in internal. It will be blocked. It will be blocked. You have 
what is as Vancha Prana? Prana, Apana, Samana, Udana, Vyana. This Vancha Prana. Nagamu, Kurmamu, Krikaram, Dananjayam, Devadatta. Upa Pranas. All these Upa Pranas are very much whatever process you are doing, actually you are doing that only. But you may not be knowing the spiritual dimension of it. But you are also manipulating, as a, according to Ayurveda, you are doing the same thing. Nothing different. If you want health, happiness and harmony, the crux is only this. Health, happiness and harmony are not different elements internally. It is only one part. The mind, you are merging the mind. What is meditation? Meditation is nothing. It is very, very simple. You know, you might have heard of the eight branches of yoga. Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama, Pratyahara, Dharana, Dhyana, Samadhi. Actually, the Dharana, Dhyana and Samadhi are nothing but you are merging this mind and the Atma. Dharana is Desa Bandhas Chittaha, Dharana. Desa Bandhas Chittaha, that means awareness of that particular part. Dharana, you are putting your awareness here, then that is Dharana. Desa Bandhas Chittaha, Dharana. What is Dhyana? Tatra Prati Ekatanaka Dhyanam. Prati Ekatanaka. You are in the flow of the awareness. It is just you are flowing, that awareness you are totally attached. That is Dhyana. Samadhi means you are in Advaita. Normally we are in Dvaita. When the mind is there, you are in Dvaita. So when the mind you are merging, that becomes Advaita and it is also called Samadhi. Padaiva Artha Matra Nirbhasa Swarupa Sunyameva Samadhi. Sama plus B. That means Sama means equanimous, B means intellect. Equanimous intellect. Jnana means B plus Yana. B means intellect. And Yana means prayana, the flow of awareness. That's all. So whatever you are doing, the asana part is a very, very minor part of yoga. Yoga means actually what happened was we are we there was Vyogam has happened from your Atma. From Vyogam, what is this Vyogam? You are separated from the Atma. Down as mind. Now, the merging is called yoga. Yoga, yoga. Because the yoga has happened, now you are trying to do the joining. That is the yoga. Yoga means joining. Normally, you are joining this mind and atma. But the mind is a culprit. Mind is a culprit. You, it makes you always unconscious. Let us just do one process. Everybody, I just, you know, let us do one small process. Put your thumb on the chin. Everybody do that. Do as I say. Okay? Everybody, everybody. Put your thumb on this chin. Uh, put your thumb on the chin. Yeah. What did I say? Don't change. Yeah? Put your thumb on the chin. Yeah? This is not thumb. This is not chin. This is cheek. Thumb is this, chin is this. So, without our consciousness, we go wrong. We go wrong because what is happening? It is not that nobody knows what is anger and we should not be angry. But when we get anger, we will be unconscious. Everybody decides to get up at 5 o'clock. But when it is 5 o'clock, we press the alarm. It is not that you are not knowing it, that I should get up. It is making you unconscious. You are in unconsciousness. So that whole process is to bring you to consciousness. Let us just have little fun because it is a serious talk. Okay? When I say, you, everybody knows idli? Yeah, idli. Okay? When I say idli, clap. Idli? Okay? Yeah. Vada is do do like this. Huh? Coffee, you do like this. Yeah, let us all do. Play.
Unfortunately, we have become unconscious. Our occipital brain, it has taken charge. Without your knowledge, it is happening. The frontal cortex, everybody, all, I address all judges, the uh, IAS officers, bureaucrats, ministers, even they are committing much more sins. Everybody has a PhD degree. Nothing. Judges, they give judgment also. They are also like that. The element, the basic element is the spiritual science. If you do meditation, it will make you unconscious. It will make you conscious. It is nothing to do with the puja. Okay? It is nothing to do with stooping. It is not archana. It is meditation is to make you conscious. How to make your mind join with your Atman and make it grateful, alert. Otherwise, everything. How many of you have watches, wearing watches? Please raise your hand. Yeah, without seeing your watch, now wear, just think. In my watch, yeah, at 12 o'clock, whether there is a number, whether there is line, or whether it is a wrong number, just try to recollect. We might have seen the watch thousands of times. Suddenly when I ask you, you are very good. I am aware in my watch whether it is line or number or dot or what is it? See, thousands of times we have gone through. But yet we are getting a doubt. See, what is our consciousness? You might have seen every day you are Alva, you are just passing through all the traffic. Okay. Now, I'll just ask you a simple question. You recollect in the traffic island whether green is on the top or down. Suddenly, whether it is on the top or middle or, of course, middle you will say now. But whether it is on the top or down. Down, again down. See our consciousness. It is nothing to do with intelligence. Nothing, nothing. Spirituality is something to make you wakeful. Alert. Wakeful. That's all. To just make you awake. Wakeful. You know, health means only not the physical health. Physical health you will have only pleasure. Mental, you will have happiness. Emotional, you will have joy. Atman, the self, you will have bliss. Do you want only pleasure, happiness, joy, or bliss? You want bliss. That bliss is the deepest part that makes you wakeful. So if the Atma is there, nothing to think, oh that, oh, that is something, you know, devil, that is not Atma. It is all wrong. Atma is not what is there, it is there before your birth, during your birth, after our birth. It is always there. Aham Atma Gura Kesa Sarva Bhuta Sayasthita Everywhere it is there. Aham Adishya Madhyancha Bhuta Namanta Evacha It is always there. Your God is nothing but your Atma. No outside Guru. All Guru is your mind. Your mind is your Guru. Your Atma is your God. All the outer gurus are only to wake you up and wakeful, make it awake. The inner guru is the mind is awake. That's all. As the history passed, after thousands of years, our original version of spirituality is finished. There is no more spirituality in our 
religion, no religion, now that spirituality is there. So that spirituality is gone, totally gone. Now it is only the temple. Whatever temples you find, it is spirituality. That is nothing to do with spirituality. That means earlier days what happened was, if you are, that is all the, you know, in any big temple you go, hmm, what is the biggest temple in uh, Kerala? Guruvayur temple, let us go. Okay. When you enter, there are four entries. That is called the outer, the four entrances. The four entrances. When you go internally, there will be three entrances. Still you go into the sanctum, sanctorium, the Garbhagudi, there are two entrances. Okay. One internal or outer. And there is one belly. Okay. Do you know what all these are? The four entrances are two eyes and two ears. The four. When you go internally, there are three entrances. Three nostrils, two nostrils and one mouth. Okay? Three entrances. When you still go and reach this place of Ishwarinda, there are two entrances. That is, you know, Yula. Upper palate, you have two holes. Those two holes are for the movement of the prana. That to make the prana is going into the Atman. So, the two sanctum sanctorum are Garbhaguni. That, those are the two entrances. Do you know what the bell is? Every time you go internally, there is a, you make a sound of the bell. That is not for that. When, you, when the prana moves internally, then it makes a sound of pranava. When it comes out towards the apara, that makes the sound of pranava. The prana movement is called pranava. Prana ava. So the prana is not what you do. This is called whatever the breathing you do as pranayama. That is not pranayama. That is swasayama. The real pranayama is done internally, taking the apana up as you go into the spirituality, real spirituality, you will get all the mental nadi, sh nadi shodhana is over, mental nadi shodhana is over, then you will go into the internal prana. The prana you will have to take it internal. And then down, then you are hearing that sound of pranava. That sound of pranava will distribute all the prana internally. So, what is the disease? Sarva Roga Malavasha. Where is this Mala? It is in your Sushumna Nadi. The Sushumna Nadi, when the Ida and Pingala are balanced, when the Ida and Pingala are balanced, the Sushumna will open up. The, it, the, it drains all the Sushumna Nadi in the spinal column, the internal whatever that uh, fluid is connected with the Shushuna, the Brahma Nadi, Chitra Nadi, Vajra Nadi, there are so many, out of the 72,000 Nadis, is there, it's a secret science. So the secret science is connected with the, the Shushuna. When your Shushuna is clear, most of the Mala gets clear. So Sarvaroga Malavasha, the lack of distribution of the Prana is disease. What is disease? The ease is disturbed. What is the dis-ease? Is the ease is disturbed internally that is called as disease. So it is as simple as that when the ease is coming back, you know in Bhagavad Gita it is said, Dhyayato Vishyan Bhamsa Sangaste Shukadeya Sangha Samjayate Kamaha Kama Krodhava Vijayate Krodhodhavasa Sammoha Sammoha Smriti Brahmaha Sriti Vipusha, Vrimsha, Buddhinasha, Buddhinasha, Pranashyati. We are all the stress. Whatever stress you get, it is all when we are going, the mind is going outward. Mind is going outward. If the mind is going outward, then you are, all the, everything is going outward. So what you are supposed to do? You are supposed to take it inward. So be careful. You are 
everywhere the stress means already distress is there you have to de-stress it so the stress the distress whatever you find it is very very easy of course if everybody can come to sarathi studio sarathi hospital wonderful but it is always not possible even for you every time it is not possible now and then maybe i have decided every year i will come here once in the it is good it is a excellent treatment excellent system and we should make it a habit and if you are getting somewhere like periya river in front of periya river and this is an excellent place you will not know the ambience because every time you are seeing the amart sarathi hospital don't you come from outside then only you know the beauty of this you know have you seen a child looking at a rose flower he just gasped he is totally he looks like this have you seen any baby one year baby one and a half year baby you will touch the rose flower you will play with the rose flower you will taste the rose flower you will smell the rose flower you will rub with all the rose flower what is happening that is why child is considered to be god because he is total with the atma the mind is totally because his mind has not formed our mind starts when we grow and start our education after 7 years we are idiots as we grow you know it is don't think university i have three doctorates all together it is not big after three doctorates after entering into spirituality i have understood are i have unnecessarily wasted my time it doesn't give you anything it doesn't give you anything only spirituality first time it makes you god it makes you human being it makes you a pure soul otherwise nothing nothing absolutely nothing so everybody has to go through this whole process and then only your happiness will be there like a child you just see give him a chocolate if i start chocolate how will he eat you just see the whole of it is here this area Huh? He will do all. Ah, his total hands are. I am not asking you to become like that, but he is totally in that. Now, what are we? If you look at a rose flower, ah, you yeah, know, I know what is a rose flower. I have seen this crores of times, millions of times. Then you will not look rose flower. I know. I ah, have. What is there in sunrise? What is there in Peria River? you will think like that because you are thinking that i have seen that is why it is upanishads they say the knowledge should drop to start knowing patanjali maharshi he says pramana viparyaya vikalpa nidra smriti all this knowledge has to drop pramana means right knowledge throw right knowledge viparyaya means false knowledge vikalpa uh, wrong knowledge viparyaya means wrong knowledge vikalpa is false knowledge nidra is no knowledge smriti means past knowledge drop all this to start moving what will happen when you stop the knowledge first time you will become come into the knowing have you seen any child crying this reef go smile is laughter is total have you seen any child do you did you see his prana moving if you will be shocked all abdominal breathing only abdominal the prana is moving internally but as we grow slowly we will shift to thoracic breathing clavicular breathing this is all our you know 16 times 15 times 18 times 21 times you will go into slowly beta from alpha you will go into beta 
14 to 21 cycles per second. If you want to be good, 7 to 14 cycles per second. Theta is 4 to 7 cycles per second. Delta, 0.5 to 4 cycles per second. Then you are in. Spirituality is nothing but slowly, slowly you are making conscious. Then the whole of Atman, the self is total. You will be, you will be shocked, your energy will be full. Can you guess my age? I don't know how many because maybe many, many know. I have crossed 70. And 70 plus. So, you will have a lot of energy. This is not our greatness. Maitreya, no. This tool, this system, if you do, you will have high energy. You will have high prana. Balance, equanimity, everything will be there. You want physical health, you will get it. You will have mental peace, you will get it. Emotional balance, you will get it. Spiritual maturity, you will get it. Your memory, concentration, willpower, fantastic. You teach your child, it is nothing, you know, after 60, I will be spiritual. No, absolutely not. Ah, no, after 60, how do you know? You will be alive after 60. Whenever we die, no problem. There is no death to us. The Atma will never die. Nainam chindam ti shastrani, nainam dahati pavaka. Nothing that is deathless. So then all the your whole lifestyle will change. Whole lifestyle will change. Don't think that I am going to a temple now. You will not get anything. That is only to, you know, it is something like your father's portrait you are keeping in home. He is no longer there. He said, don't smoke, you smoke. But every day you will change the garden. Huh? He said, don't drink. And every day you are drinking. Every day you are with folded hands, you go to your father. His portrait is there. What is the use? It is something like in your own language of doctors. See, let us say some patient has come to you. Uh, doctor, I have this problem. Then you have given a prescription. Then he will go home. And what he will do? Uh, uh, every day he is uh, reading that prescription. Uh, morning and the evening amoxicillin. Morning and the evening amoxicillin. Will the fever go? And again it has, he has come to the doctor. And doctor, my fever has gone. Not gone. What did you do? See the prescription. I have repeated number of times. Will it go? He said, no, 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 no. That prescription, you have to go and take the pill. Maybe Ayurveda, I don't know the medicines of Ayurveda, but that pill you will have to see internally. Then only it will go. So that is how you will have to use by repeating the doctor's name. Uh, uh, will it go? Doctor Latika Madam, Doctor Latika Madam, Doctor Latika Madam, Doctor Latika Madam. Will my fever go? It will not go. Why it will not go? That is that is how you would say Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Will your fever go? Your misery and suffering are your problem. Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Will it go? Bhagavad Gita you buy hearted. Will it go? Same is prescription. You need to follow. It is a excellent rules, code of conduct. Everything is there. Everything is there. How you have to. Sparshan Kutva Bahi Bahyans. Chakshus Chaivantare Bhuru. Prana Pano Samo Kritva. Nasa Bhyantra Chari. Now, what is there? It is just the same thing. Sparshan Kutva Bahi Bahyans. All the Indriyas. You keep it outside. Chakshus means the look, the seer. Chakshus Chaivantare Bhruva. Bhruva means Bhrumadhyam. You keep it here. Prana Pano Samokritva. Prana and Apano, you make it equalize internally. Nasa Bhyantara Charino. Where the Nasa Bhyantara is the root of the nose. Not here. Here. So, there the Prana and Apana are moving internally. Wonderful. 
he has wonderfully they have described what you need to do if you either worship nothing it is as bad as worshiping your your daddy's photo for not doing anything these are all formulas success recipe you will have to make a special food you will have to make the recipe you should understand properly so same thing the recipe is there health recipe happiness recipe harmony recipe and they see whenever you are happy see just tell me whenever you are happy when are you happy let us say you are going for your exam a degree a student he feels very happy the day he passes okay what is happening let us analyze let us say you are a businessman you will be you say that my target <coughs> is a uh, 10 crore or 100 crore you achieve 100 crore immediately that day you will be happy you will celebrate i tell you the secret why you are happy on that day you know as long as you are keeping the target your mind is frustrated it is trying to work up and down <coughs> the moment you attain the target mind will stop and join with the atma because there is no need of thinking now so the oneness of the mind and the atma is happy got it you are not happy because you have achieved the target you have you are happy because that day you want to win the game let us say you are playing a table tennis you want to win the match when you win the match till that time your mind is very very active when you won the match the mind will stop when the mind stops what will happen mind is joining your atma and then that will be you will be very happy it is so simple whether you are playing a game let us say you are hearing a joke you know why you are happy suddenly there is a twist to the joke you didn't expect and suddenly they say different then mind will stop then you are happy you are dancing you know why you are happy the mind will stop okay whenever you are happy your mind will stop why people are addicted to drugs and uh, liquor and all that temporary happiness why they the mind will stop but they don't know again it will come back the best technique is to merge the mind and atma then you are in total happiness you are in bliss got it when there is pleasure you will have this pleasure also correct or not there will be polarity hill is there valley is also there light is there there will be darkness also okay everything success is there there will be failure also the hill and the valley are together so pleasure you will have this pleasure you will have happiness you will have unhappiness also there is joy you will have sorrow also but when you join atma you have only bliss there is no opposite so happiness what is this happiness joining the mind with the atma is bliss and it is so easy it is so easy the formula is it is not my formula thousands of years back 5000 years back it is their back Operation all there, but everything is changed now. Everything is changed. Nothing is there now. Nothing, nothing is there. Okay. So 
let me ask you some doubts. If I keep on talking, maybe many times. Huh? So any doubts till now? Any doubts till now? Hindi may bhi puch sakte hai. Aap ya thoda broken Hindi bhi chalega. Broken English bhi chalega. Bolye, aapka puch chpi doubt. Any doubt. Tell me. Har half Malayalam, half Hindi, half English also chalega. One third, one third, chale. Because, why? Because in this three, ten days, I have also.